Okay, so we just earned 10 points on the MP, which is super exciting. Um, one of the things I want to point out here is that um, you'll notice this message here. It says, congratulations, your change increased your score. Uh, as soon as you increase your score, we want you to do something called commit, which is a form of saving your changes uh, using the Git version control system that we're using. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'm going to show you how to submit. Okay, so um, the we're using a version control system called Git. There is good documentation about Git that is available as part of our MP um, material. So if you want to see more information about Git, how it works, and why we use it, there's a lot of documentation up on the website that I'm not going to talk through, right? What I'm going to show you is just the workflow involved in submitting your code for official grading. Now you do need to do this. So if, if I go over here to the website and I look at the MP page that has the tutorials on it that we're working through, you'll see down here at the bottom, it says I have no submissions. If you don't submit your code for official grading, you don't get a score, right? No matter what the local grader says, you have to push your code to GitHub using the process I'm about to describe. That's the only way to earn an official score on the MP. If you do the work locally and you forget to submit it, you're not going to get credit. Okay, so just, you know, this is why we're going through this now, right? With the week-long checkpoint, pretty straightforward thing for you to accomplish this week in terms of your work on the MP, but we do want to get you uh, submitting correctly. All right, so up here at the top, and there are some shortcuts that I can use here too, right? Uh, so there's this commit shortcut here. I can also go to git and hit uh, commit. Uh, where to go? There it is. Okay. So when I start committing, you'll see that it opens up a dialog. And the first thing it shows me um, is that the files that I've changed. So in this case, I changed the file id.txt. The only change I've made to the MP so far is that I put my information in id.txt. Um, now, it's good to document the changes you make to a particular software project, and we do this by uh, writing a commit message, right? So I'm going to say, uh, added my ID. You don't have to be super verbose here. It's just to let people know what, why this change happened, right? In this case, the thing I changed was I added my ID to ID.txt. I'll just write that down. All right. Now, if you get over anxious here and you just go down and hit commit, that's okay. Right? And in fact, maybe I'll just show you what happens if you do that. So if you go down here and you hit commit, uh, what happens is your changes are not pushed back to GitHub. So let me show you that. So I'm going to go over here. First of all, you see that there's no activity here on the grading site because I have not actually submitted my code for grading yet. So if I go over here and then I go, let's see, here's my copy of the MP, you'll see that it says, uh, let's see. Um, First of all, it says the initial commit was 32 minutes ago. There's only one commit, and you'll see if I look at my id.txt, it's blank. And the reason is, with the Git version control system, saving your work, and then what's called pushing it back to GitHub, so that the changes are actually on github.com, which is also what triggers our grading process, are two separate steps, okay? And we need to perform them separately. So I just uh, committed my code. Um, and now I need to push it. Now, there is a way to do both at once, but if you forget, there's a button over here called push. And when I hit push, it's gonna tell me the commits that are about to be pushed, and then I'll hit the push button. You'll see down here, this is an activity that requires access to the network. Okay, so now uh, let's go up here. So the first thing is, the I will see on the website that I have a commit being graded. So what we're doing at this point, and this, can take a few minutes, particularly around deadlines when uh, the system gets quite busy. We're taking the code that you committed, uh, we're downloading it, and then we're running the grader on that code to see how you did, uh, to, to evaluate your, your score. If I go over here and I hit refresh on my GitHub repository, uh, you'll see that there are now two commits. And if I click on the commits, you'll see that the latest one was by me, it said added my ID. And when I go here to the file, whoop, sorry, uh, when I go over here to the file browser and look in id.txt, my ID is in there. So it's that push step that actually sends your work back to GitHub. Okay, um, so the, the commit seems like it's still being graded. Let's hit refresh and, and see if that helps. Okay, so this, and this does take a minute, right? It takes a minute to, you know, uh, retrieve the information and actually uh, run the grading process. Um, and so, you know, it, it just, you just have to be patient. And now, ta-da, I see my score. 
Um, to be honest, it's always a real big thrill for me when this all works uh, because, you know, I, I wrote this whole auto grading system and I was sitting there thinking like, is it slow or is it broken? No, nope, it's not broken. Not yet. I'm sure it will be at some point during the semester, but not yet. Um, so this is information about what happened, right? Uh, you'll see that this is grading information that's very similar to what you see when you uh, do things locally. And then we have a whole bunch of output from the grading process. And when there's problems with your score, when your score doesn't match up with what you think it's supposed to be, uh, we'll ask you to look through some of this information to try to get a sense of what went on. Okay, so now I have 10 points on the MP. The next thing to do is to get 100 points, which shouldn't uh, take you that long, but feel free to ask for help. We're there, we're there for you. Um, once you have 100 points locally, you go through the same process to uh, commit your work and push it to GitHub. And again, you should also go through the same process of coming here to the grading page. And you can see your grades here. You can also see your grades on the MP write-up. So if I go over to, um, let's see here, is it, I think it's MP, yeah, here we go. I don't have this linked off the site yet because it hasn't been released. If I go over here, you can also see your MP scores here. So there's two different places that, that you can see that. Um, you are not finished until the grade you deserve is visible here on your MP scores page, right? Until the grade that you have earned based on your work is visible here. Also, for those of you who are choosing to collaborate, both of you must submit the code. You can write the code together, you can view each other's work, and you can discuss how to do things, and you can share code. You both have to submit. Um, there's no group submission here. You both submit independently. That's actually important because for MP2 and MP3, you'll be working independently. So we want to make sure that you both have the code that you're using at the same place with the same scores doing the same things in both of your repositories so that once you start to work independently, that'll work out. Okay, so I've earned my first points on the MP. Now I'm going to go back and, and get that to 100.